Hello YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to add a kind of snowy star effect, uh, stars effect onto your image. So here I have a PC Pro Code 7 subscriber edition wallpaper. Right click in the layers window, right click and go to new layer and just call it snow or call it star, I just call it snow and click OK. And then go to the paint brush and select white or whatever cut or yeah just select white which works well obviously on dark background and just uh, plot around your image little blobs of paint um, be careful not to do this uh, or do this or you know just go like that because then otherwise it just looks rubbish and um, spread them out really well by the way you need to really spread them out and also select different sizes so it looks a bit real realistic and uh, yeah just plot them around again keep some close together adds to the effect um, and put in a few really big ones so I'm just gonna select three really big ones plotted around You can have some overlay um, each other. That looks quite nice as well. And then once you've done adding your stars or snow, go to the uh, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm not how to say. I'm not sure how to say that, but I think something like that. And just set it to uh, your personal reference. I like it at seven. You can set it to five, um, which looks also nice. But I like it at seven. And by the way, it already already does look nice, but it looks a bit uh, polka dot ish. So just have the Gaussian blur to make it look even better, and click OK. And there you go. You've got a really nice snowy, starry effect. Um, to get the starry effect, you need to, I think, um, just add a bit more Gaussian blur. Uh, it really does work, really well. Don't put it too high though. 14, 15 is around good. And that's kind of the starry effect. Looks kind of good and on a dark background again. Um, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. How to add a snowy starry effect to images in GIMP. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe if you like our videos. And thanks again.